How's it going guys? This is the uh, Isolate here. I don't know why I was about to say the magic power. I'm not that anymore. Uh, <laughs> how's it going guys? This is Isolate here bringing you week 8 of the FBL against the creator himself, uh, Sky Trainer Silver, as you can tell by the screen there. So as you can see, um, yeah, uh, past few weeks, past two weeks, uh, Mega Manicham has blown up, and um, yeah, so I just wanted to bring it. I mean, it's pretty good against his team anyway, so not it's not like perfect against his team, uh, but it's it's pretty it's pretty decent. So uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, his I think his name is his team name is like the New York Zapdos, and uh, he's got the Charizard X, Heracross, Gengar, Espeon, Hydreigon, and Golem. He had the potential to bring a Zoomerol, and I put Poison Jab on my Mega Manicham, and um, he didn't bring it, so that sucks. So if I could have Bullet Punch instead of Poison Jab, that would be like so much better but uh, yeah as you can see we're bringing Mega Medicham uh, Focus Sash, Breloom, Focus Sash, uh, Galvantula with Sticky Webs obviously and then uh, I think it's phys yeah um, yeah it's Physically Defensive Porygon 2, Assault Vest, Armaldo and uh, Specially Defensive Golbat so let's get right into it I'm going to play on slow and uh, yeah so I decided to le lead off with Leprechaun just because I felt like he might lead off with Espeon and I could just bullet seed it turn 1 Hopefully he wasn't expect he wouldn't be expecting the uh, bullet seed, but he actually leaves off with the judo bug, the hair cross. So I'm gonna have to switch into my Golbat. Uh, I do resist both his stabs four times, so I can eat up uh, any hit from this thing. I expected it to be scarf the whole time, cause that would make sense to outspeed my Mega Man Chim. Anyway, he's gonna go into Spoopion, his uh, Espeon. So I'm gonna go into X6 uh, just to wait. Yeah, we both switched, because uh, I, I expected him to be Scarf, so he wouldn't really stay in, so I just wanted to try to get my Sticky Webs, but this thing has Magic Bounce, so obviously I'm not going to go for that against this thing. So yeah, uh, he goes for Psy Shock, I go for Bug Buzz, um, and he he does more damage, and plus he outspeeds, so I don't want to stay in. I'm just going to go into Fun Size, I eat that hit really well, and um, here I kind of expected the Paracross switch, I should have gone for Thunder Wave. But it was too risky. I thought maybe it, just in case he stayed in, I didn't want to get my uh, poor gun too thunder waved. So I just fire off the tri attack. Um, he ends up, he does end up going into hair cross, which sucks. I'm gonna go into Golbat. It's too reliable of a uh, of a switch. Like it's super predictable, but it's too reliable. He does end up going for the rock blast, which is super interesting. I was not expecting that. And he gets four hits off, which is um, it's annoying, but it whatever. I mean, he he deserves that for for the prediction that he made so anyway I'm gonna go into prophecy he actually misses rock rock, rock blast which is actually gonna come in to play later on but uh, even though it wouldn't have done much like it'll still whatever so um yeah I'm gonna make evolve straight up here and uh, he goes into the great I predict that and go for the well I didn't really predict it I mean Zen Headbutt was my best play I knew he wasn't gonna go into Hydreigon but he misses and I was really mad at it at the moment but uh, I'm just gonna go into fun size Cause it's like, yeah, so it seems like a safe switch. But no, he has focus blast. So I should have gone straight into Armaldo. But that again, that was a fantastic play by uh, Matt. I should say, but I'm just gonna call him Silver because that, to be honest, sounds cooler. Not that Matt isn't a good name. Anyway, he's gonna miss a focus blast as I come in, which is great. It really doesn't matter in the long run because you're gonna see he does have a focus sash. He's packing that. And uh, if I wasn't Assault Vest, then I could have gone for Rocks. But I'm Assault Vest, so I don't have Hazards on this team, except for Sticky Webs on uh, Galvantula. And he's going to go for the Destiny Bot and, and uh, you know, take me out with the uh, x -Hazard. But, hey, I'm all the, you know, killed Gengar, so that's great. So the Zen Headbutt didn't really matter, the miss, even, because even if it had hit, it would have brought him out to a Sash to the point where he, I think he would have just, he would have killed something with Destiny Bot, basically, because I don't think... I don't. I guess I could have played around it with Golbat, but I mean, he would outsped me and killed me with Shadow Ball, so I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna Toxic as he goes for the rocks. I don't want rocks on my field. Uh, I really want the Breloom, fo the Focus Sash on Breloom, so I'm just going to go for the Defog here. As uh, he's going to gonna go into Espeon, which is fine. Max bounces the Fog. I mean, it's still it's still the Fog's the rocks away, so I don't really care about that. Uh, he's gonna go for the Wish at this point, which is a little weird to be honest, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird, take out the Espeon, which is great, 
Uh, nothing really switched in. I mean, he could have gone to Charizard and start setting up, but I do have Toxic, so that's nice. Um, I believe he just goes for Dragon Dance this turn. I didn't want to Roost. I felt like he predicted me to go for Roost, so he didn't, like, straight, like, he wanted to take advantage of that. But I, in my opinion, it was a smart play to just Toxic, just because I know, at this point, I'm willing to sack off Golbat to put me in a better position here. So he's going to go for the Dragon Call and take me out. And, um... You know, we got a Toxic on this thing, so we know it's not sweeping, but it's still a plus one freaking um, Charizard, so it's still scary. Uh, I don't really have anything to come in on this thing. Uh, I could Fake Out with Mega Metachamp, but then I'd have to sack something off, because obviously Fake Out isn't going to kill. So I am going to go into Leprechaun. Luckily, he doesn't Flare. I mean, yeah, he doesn't Flare Butts. Um, I didn't want the 10% chance burn that could come off of that, but at the same time, he would have taken a lot of recoils, so... Like, even with the burn, I'm pretty sure Drain Punch, Mock Punch would have taken him out because of the Flare Blitz recoil, if he had gone for that. But, uh, it doesn't really matter in the long run. Like, if he had gone for Flare Blitz, then Porygon 2 would have gotten the kill with Toxic instead, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, and I'd rather have Leprechaun get the kill. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, he's gonna go to Judabug. I'm sacking off, uh, Porygon 2 at this point. I was kind of realizing, wait, he can just Mega Horn. I wanted him to go for Close Combat, because then I could... I would have had a, I would have been in a much better position. But he's gonna go into sorry, he's gonna hit the Moxie boost. I mean nothing's living a hit anyway, so I might as well just fake out here. Uh it does thirty four percent. If I can get a high roll in the next time, because I'm gonna sack off Galvantula at this point. If I can get a high roll uh with my next fake out, then I'm pretty and I'm in a really good spot because then Braylon just yeah, Braylon wins at that point. Well, it doesn't win, but it pretty much wins. So yeah, sorry about that interruption. But yeah, so I'm gonna go back into uh, Mega Man and basically just gonna go for the fake out. It doesn't kill, which is annoying as, um, yeah, he lives on one. It did the same amount of damage as the other one, but, uh, yeah, again, if I had bullet punch instead of poison jab, then I think, I'll, yeah, I would have won this game because I could have bullet punched the, um, I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything. Never mind. Okay, I still have a chance because he's going to switch out here, obviously, because I can just fake out. Uh, he's going to go into Precious, which is fine. I basically already spoiled the end, but yeah, that's fine. Anyway, uh, I am drawing Mega Medicham, so I can outspeed this Hydreigon as long as it's not Scarfed. So I'm going to go for the High Jump Kick. I do land it against Precious. Now, I count it, a Jolly Scarfed Heracross does not Oko with, Meg with Megahorn. It comes really close, but it doesn't Oko. If he's adamant, it kills, and you're going to see here, we live it on 6%, and uh, I just go for the Bullet Punch, or sorry, the Poison Jab. Um, yeah, so, going to take it out right there, and um, Hydreigon's going to come in. If he's Scarfed, he wins. If he's not, I win with High Jump Kick, and he's Scarfed, so we're going to go down there and... Uh, uh, Sky's gonna get the win. Um, I'm proud of him because uh, he he played really well and uh, he had me on my heels for a long for a long part of the match. I was still surprised. Like if I had brought stealth, if I had either brought Stealth Rocks or Maldo or uh, Bullet Punch Mega Match him, I would have this game in the bag. Like Breloom could have cleaned up at the end, but um, yeah, I just prepared for a zoom roll. I mean, you see it in the zoom roll, and, you know you're gonna prepare for it. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be the video. Um, he, I believe he was two. Yeah, he was two and five. So you know it sucks to lose, but first of all, it's only a one zero. And uh, Mega Metacham still got two kills and one death, so he's still he's eighteen and three now, and uh, that's a great record. And um, yeah, and I'm I'm happy for Silver to get the win because now he's three and five. He has a better chance of making playoffs. Like we're six and two. Like we're still we're still in. The Sorry about that. Again, we're still in like we're in a pretty decent position to go to playoffs if we just keep doing relatively well. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.